So I have found a lot of good gold along this river, but it's getting harder to find spots that I haven't been to already or spots that just haven't been hit in general. So today we're going to a new spot that's never been worked before. So I know we're gonna find some gold. So I acquired a new gold claim that's along the same river I normally find my gold at, but this is way further upstream and much harder to get to. In fact, this is my third attempt at trying to find the second half of the trail, which is hidden on purpose by the previous owner. Now the reason I said it hasn't been worked before in the intro is because it hasn't been worked before in the water, which is where we'll be working today, if we can find it. I have half of the trail marked on my GPS, but once I get down there, I'm just gonna have to spend more time looking for the other half. Where we're going is somewhere down there. Now to tell you about your car insurance. Wolf droppings. I've never seen a wolf, but they're here. Same with cougars and bears. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. I'm in the same area where I think it was the last couple times where I lost the trail or where I kind of stopped. Now it's hard to tell where I am exactly, but Normally, I walk this way because there's a little bit of a trail down here, but it leads nowhere. So today, I'm gonna go this way. And after looking at this a little longer, this kind of looks like it used to be an old road. I could be wrong. So we'll follow the road and see if we see any signs down to the river. Luckily, that was safe for me because I have these fancy brakes on my shoes. Okay, so this is very helpful. This is a claim marker, and the reason I blurred it is so you guys don't know where I'm at. So, what a claim marker means, it means you're on the claim and that we're not lost. So we're still lost, but we're not lost in the sense that we are where we're supposed to be almost. Now we're just looking for a trail. This is a good sign. We have a marker here. We have another marker there, that one looks a little older. The idea with markers is when you're at a marker, you're supposed to be able to see the next one and then vice versa when you come up. Found another marker. And then over there, I see another one. So, I think we're on the trail. <laughs> we made it, finally. Ah, we are here. What a nice looking creek. Now, since I'm a million degrees hot, I'm just gonna get in the wetsuit and look for gold. So I just got in the water here. There are so many places to go but I chose right here. And I just found a whole bunch of gold in one area. So that's a good sign there could be gold around. Let's start here and then make your way up. So our first piece of gold is a nice piece of gold. Let's see what else this place has to offer. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. I'm trying a new tool today. I got this from Gary or Two Toes Prospecting. So far it's been working pretty good. Having somebody you can trust to make you new tools is awesome. I end up breaking most of my tools because I'm just so strong. Oh, nice. Already our second piece of chunky gold. Just 10,000 more of these and I can get my Lamborghini. So right here it was really hard to work because of all the white water. So what I did was build a dam here to bring the water level up. Now that I can access it, I dug down and I found another nice little nugget. <laughs> I love it. They look like they're 10 ounces underwater, but when you pull them out, they shrink. That's only because of refraction. I just spotted two more pieces of gold down there, and one of them is actually kind of thick. I sucked up a couple more pieces of candy, then made my way downstream where it was harder to see. Luckily, Phoenix sent me this flashlight to try out, and to be honest, I'm never going sniping again without a flashlight. I discovered a pothole in the bedrock, which looked good to me, so I had to clean it out. 
It took me 500 years to pull all the stuck rock out and see what was at the bottom. And when I did, nothing. But shortly after, we're back on it. So I normally try to show you the scratching and digging parts of sniping, but for this video I decided to cut most of it out so I could just share the moments I actually find the gold. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. Using your leg arms is a great way to wear out your boots and not your gloves. I'm noticing just how much gold is scattered along this bedrock. It's hard to see on camera, but when you're looking through a mask, it really pops out. It's stuck in the straw. Also again, the flashlight is a game changer. On camera, it's way too bright to see anything, so when I do see gold, I point the flashlight to the side a bit so you're able to pick it up better. Oh. What the? Nice fight. I just found a piece of gold at the bottom of this little hole, and I wouldn't have seen it if it wasn't for my flashlight. It's really hard to hold the flashlight, film, and work at the same time. This crevice looked really good to me. And what's funny is that there's a piece of gold right there that I couldn't see from my angle yet. But also, this crevice was good. Oh, look at, oh, oh, oh. Nice, look at that. Another. This bigger bit had a little attitude, so I eventually just picked it up with my fingers. Oh yeah, another little piece. This waterfall area that I'm in, it looks like it's never been touched before. That's a good sign. I shouldn't have turned the camera off. I just found another one that was even deeper. I ended up hiking downstream to where it was much more open because part of testing a new claim is testing different areas. So just like upstream where we were, downstream seems to be good too. Lots of gold laying around for us to rescue. You're probably getting tired of all this gold finding, so let me tell you a story. I moved some gravel and I found more gold. That's a nice little flake. Or, it's bigger than a flake. I'll call it a flat little nugget. We are doing pretty good today. Bloop. Just found another nice little nugget. I almost didn't see it. What the heck? I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a hole down there. That's really weird. I put my tool in there to see how deep it went, and yeah, I'll probably come back next time and see what's inside. I sucked up a couple more pieces of gold and a bullet, and it was time to test one last spot further upstream. I was told on the map that nobody has ever been up this canyon, so I'm gonna explore it today and bring the mail detector just in case. So I've kind of just been randomly scratching out crevices, not finding anything. But then I saw a little bit of bedrock poking out of a sea of boulders. I worked the crevice for about two feet and out popped out a nice little piece of gold. What's nice about these gloves is I can pick it up. 
Nice little pickup. That's actually really coarse. I'd call that a nugget for sure. Bloop. Just found another little guy. Work at the crevices. I'm getting so tired. I could quit right now, but we're finding a lot of gold, so I'm just gonna keep going till I till I can't no more. I don't think people realize how much work sniping is. It can be quite relaxing, but I feel like you have to be in good shape to be able to say that. I noticed there was a ton more crevices to work in this upper part of my claim. And as long as I focus on cleaning every single one, <laughs> a nice little pocket. I'm bound to discover something amazing at some point. So work at this crevice, I'm noticing that it's continuing deeper towards the middle of the river. Now it is getting harder to work the deeper it goes, so I'm gonna work this as deep as I can, and then I'm probably gonna go work up the crevice till I can't go further up. Also, I just found two more pieces of gold down deeper. <laughs> <laughs> a little pocket. Hopefully the center of the river, if we can get to it, there'll be a big one. I didn't bring my weight belt with me on this test because I wanted to make sure it was worth it before I carry that stupid thing down this far. And that's why I have to constantly dip down to work the deeper spots. I've worked that crack as far as I could go, but next time I come here, I'm gonna bring my hookah system so I could get to the bottom of this crevice. I think for sure when this crevice hits the very bottom or the center of the river, we would find some good gold. So I'll come back to work that later. Now I'm starting to get really tired as you're about to see. But when you're consistently finding gold, I find it really hard to stop. So I saw a nice crevice but the white water was too fast. So I built another dam to slow down the water so I could see. Just found another little nugget. So apparently I'm Hercules because I just broke this crevice tool. Luckily, I have two spares down at base camp. I think maybe breaking my crevice tool is a sign that I should get out pretty soon. What I think I'm gonna do is just quickly scan some areas on my way down to base camp. And once I get down there, I'll call it a day. We found a lot of gold today. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe five grams. Who knows? I skipped a lot of spots on my way down. I honestly just wanted to get out. But not before I found one more piece of gold. Okay, I am done. <laughs> I am also really cold. So this claim, what do you think? I think it's pretty good. We found a lot of gold today. Nothing huge, but a lot of nice thick pieces. So we will definitely be coming back. I hurt my knee somehow. It really hurts to bend and it's such a big hike to get out of here. So let me hike out of here first. I'll quickly show you the gold while it's wet out of my snuffer bottle. And then we'll go back to my house, look at everything really close, weigh it all and see, uh, see how we did. Okay, we're out the truck. <laughs> Let me show you the gold before the mosquitoes eat me alive. Oh man. Uh oh. Uh, it's just a rock. Yeah. So how are we looking for gold? I think we actually, uh, I think we might actually have beaten four or five grams. I was kind of predicting a few grams, but that is pretty exceptional for a test at the new claim. We got a few nice bigger bits in here. I'd almost call this a flake because how flat it is. But this is for sure a nugget. A nice little nugget that might. Maybe a gram, could be a little less. We'll find out in a minute. And a few more chunky guys. Okay, the mosquitoes are killing me. So let's go home, look at the gold closer, weigh it, see how we did. <laughs> Bam! Here's what we found testing the remote gold claim. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this creek is no longer a virgin. Probably my favorite spot to go to now. A few of these pieces are rough, which suggests that the quartz vein that they fell out of is not far away. Looking under the microscope, you can see quartz is still present, and also this random horseshoe, which is kind of weird. Also, there's rust on other pieces, which means you should like this video. And these are the other chunky pieces we found today. Very, very happy to add these to the collection. Now, before we weigh this gold, I just wanna say that if you wanna find gold like this yourself, I recommend you check out Pioneer Pater at pioneerpoly.com. All proceeds go towards making more videos for you to watch and more gold 
for you to find. So starting off, let's see how much this little nugget weighs. Big flake nugget. I'm gonna guess maybe just a gram. 1.08 grams. Ah, that was pretty close. And now our second biggest nugget of the day. I'm gonna guess less than that. So 0 0.9. 0 0.97, so close again. And a raisin. 0.76. Now let's weigh everything, I'm gonna guess. Six, six grams. 10.89 grams. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. So calculating on a gold price calculator, that's just over $800 US, but because these are nuggets and not fine gold, there's a premium. So I would say just over $1,000 for today's test. Very, very happy with that. So half of that in the July bag and the other half to pay dirt.